All right. Our first question is from Bella in New York. Hi, Bella. How can we help you? Hi, thanks so much for having me. Um, so I recently just started a reverse diet and I'm wanting to know if I'm sort of on the right track and what should my expectations be or what should I anticipate throughout the process? I just feel a little bit lost. Okay, that's a great question. Um, a lot of people ask about reverse dieting because obviously we've talked about on the show, helps speed up the metabolism, can help if you've come off of a long period of cutting your calories. Sometimes it can help with hormone balancing and all that good stuff. But I do need to ask you a few more questions before I can help you out. Um, number one, what are you doing for your workouts? Um, so I have the RGB bundle. So I did MAPS Anabolic, and now I'm on phase two of MAPS Performance. Um, and I've done weightlifting for a bit before I started the programs. Excellent. Okay, so you're obviously following good programs. Are you seeing any strength gains and performance gains? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm, my strength has gone up in pretty much everything except uh, squats, but I think that's just because I've been doing a lot more mobility, so um, just bigger range of motion, but other than that one lift, everything else has gone up. Now, did you, um, did you see that, Bella, when you were... Yeah. Sorry, did you, did you actually see the strength gains going up while you were in a cut or since you've been reverse dieting? Um, since I've been reverse dieting, okay. well, I've seen some small strength gains when I was in a cut, but it was like months. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what, now what is your, what is your purpose for going on a reverse diet? What, what's the goal for you? So I was gaining body fat or just weight on a pretty low calorie diet. I was consistently eating about 1400 calories, um, for a couple years. So I just kind of want to get out of that funk and, um, you know, I've consistently worked out, so I'd kind of like to see the results come to fruition. Okay. So you felt like your metabolism just needed a kick, um, into gear. And so that's your, that's your goal for reverse dieting. Yeah. yeah okay. Exactly. And now how are you performing it? How many calories are you increasing on a, on a weekly or monthly basis? So I started increasing when I did a dip, when I started a new phase was sort of how I timed it a little bit. Um, and so right now I'm at around 1800 calories and I've just been increasing, um, by like a hundred, 150, um, each phase. Oh, cool. So a phase typically for people who don't know lasts anywhere between three to, uh, four weeks. So about every three to four weeks, you're going up about a hundred to 150 calories. And now you're up to 1800 calories. You've gotten stronger. Have you gained any weight on the scale? I don't. I don't exactly know because I don't have a scale, but I do feel like my clothes are a little bit tighter, um, which I guess has sort of made me a little nervous because um, that's not my end goal. But I'm trying to, you know, trust the process. Or yeah. So what could help with that would be a body fat test um, because that could tell you if you're gaining muscle, uh, losing body fat, or gaining both. I think you're on the right track uh, in terms of increasing the calories. You can go very slow with this, you know. So if you feel like increasing your calories is starting to put more body fat on your body, then you could always pause. You could even do a slight cut and then go back to the reverse. But this can be a very slow process. You know, I've worked with people and where we reverse them on and off. And what I mean by on and off is we'll increase calories. Uh oh, they're gaining a little too much body fat. We'll bring it down a little bit and then start back up in a few weeks. And it can take, you know, up to a year or yeah. more just to get to that point where you feel like things are roaring and things feel good. Especially, you know, here's the thing that 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 is a clue to that. You were at 1400 calories for a long time. So it might just take you a little while mm -hmm. to get to get them to go up in, in the right way. Okay, that's helpful. And so how do you know when to stop the reverse or what cues are mm -hmm. or are there cues? How long have you been on the reverse diet just just for for information um about Sept late september okay i i'd like to know how, can can i get an idea of about where you are i know it's uh, totally rude to ask weight but i i would like to know about what you weigh even though you don't weigh consistently do you have an idea of around you your weight yeah i weigh about 135 but i'm only five feet tall okay so, I mean, 1800 calories is not bad i mean 1400 is a little low but 1800 is not bad I know typically we recommend that people don't become slaves to the scale and, and they don't 
uh, weigh themselves twice a day, every day. But I do think when you're reverse dieting, I do think there's some value to this. And it's not like, oh my God, I'm, I'm getting fat or I'm gaining a bunch of weight, but just to keep an eye on it. Because when I'm reverse dieting, my goal is to not see the scale really shoot up too much. Now, if it goes up a pound or two, I'm not worried about that at all. I also don't want to see my, my scale go down. If you're reverse dieting and you're adding calories and I'm actually losing weight, you know, then I'm going to keep bumping my calories. So the scale does have some value when you're trying to do something like this or body fat testing. It's just easier to have a scale than it is a body fat test. I mean, if you have access to check your body fat every couple of weeks, then that would have value. But the goal really is here is that, okay, we would like to increase our calories, whether that's 50 to 100 a day or as high as two to 200 a day over a period of time without seeing a huge you know, swing in the scale up or down. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm re reverse dieting is can I continue to add calories into my diet and not see my scale do this this huge fluctuation? And by huge fluctuation, I mean consistently putting on, you know, two pounds or more every single week. If you go one to three pounds and you kind of go up and down, that's a good place to be. That yeah. means you're kind of hovering around probably what maintenance is for you and you're starting to speed the metabolism yeah. up. You can keep that maintenance and then also see strength increase. Uh, right. And you're really doing well. Yeah, so some signs to look for. Strength going up, energy improving, libido improving, better sleep, skin, hair, all the signs that your health is doing well are great signs of a reverse diet. So you should start, even your appetite going up. Uh, if a reverse diet's done properly, the person's building strength and muscle. Sometimes they'll actually start to get hungrier, and that's actually a great sign. That means things are, are moving in the right direction. Things that tell you that maybe you're going up too fast, like Adam said, a lot of weight gain, not feeling good, digestive issues, uh, you know, sleep starts to get worse. Essentially, your health starts to kind of go down. That may be that you're, you're, because your calories have gone up too fast. Also keep in mind, if, we are, if we're increasing calories, right, that means probably carbs are going up, sodium's probably going up, maybe even fluid intake is going up. So it's very normal to see, uh, see your body put on a little bit of size. So if you notice your clothes are fitting a little bit tighter, that's also normal during this process. Now, excessively, if you're going up you know, pant sizes every few weeks, we're definitely increasing too fast, but it's very normal too for you to be holding a little bit of extra water, for you to see a little bit of more weight on you. But the key really that I'm looking for when I'm looking at my own body or I'm assessing a client is if I'm putting on muscle, it should look good. Like So when you look at yourself, even though you might have gone up a little bit of weight or clothes fitting tighter, you feel good about how you look in comparison to maybe what you look like two months ago. You're probably heading on the right track, especially if you're seeing markers like Justin alluded to, like strength going up in the gym. If strength is going up, you feel good about the, the way you're looking as far as muscle being built on your body. You're probably heading in the right track. Okay, great. This was so helpful. Thank you guys so much. No awesome. problem. Thank Thanks you. for calling. Yeah, have a nice day. Yeah, that reverse diet is such a, a mind screw for a lot of people, right? Because oh, yeah. uh, you're going to see the scale go up a little bit. I mean, you could be building muscle. Water could be going up. Um, and usually the people that have to do a reverse diet are the ones that – are usually chronically trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So now you're telling them to eat more food. Um, and so it's it's challenging. It can be very, very challenging. But the rewards are tremendous. I mean, I've gotten people's metabolisms to change so much. And then when they go to try and get lean, it's so much easier because now they're working with so many more calories that their body's burning just on its own. Yeah, and then just the length of time and the, you know, taking a real gradual approach to it, it too is another psychological hurdle uh, a lot of clients have like to to completely change their focus from trying to lose weight now to just gradually uh, you know, get their metabolism to go back up is is pretty pretty challenging. Well, this is also too where I see a lot of value in having a coach or another pair of eyes to be uh, you right. know, instead of yourself, right? Because you, the, the mind plays games. It's hard with, to be objective. It right? is very hard to be objective when, when you are somebody who's tried to lean out or lose body fat or lose weight, and now you're doing a reverse diet, and you see scale going up, you see clothes getting tighter. I mean, for me, like when I was coaching a client, I wanted to see I wanted to see my clients every week check in, and I'd make them you know pose in the same outfit at the same time of the day. And as I'm adding calories, I'm the one who's looking at their body from mm -hmm. the week over week and saying, "Hey, we're doing great." Mm -hmm, I don't yeah. care that the scale went up three pounds this week. I'm looking at you, and I can tell we're, that we're focused on performance metrics. Yeah, right? look at what you're doing. Yeah, I can see your you we're, we're our bench press is up, our squat is up. I can see your shoulders. 
shoulders and your legs are building muscle. So I, I think I like right where we're at, you know, or, you know, the other side, I see that, oh, we look kind of flat. She could definitely use some more calories. Oh, we actually stayed the same weight or lost a little bit of weight. Let's bump it up a little bit. So this really helps to have another person to do this with you, especially a professional who can kind of look at them mm -hmm. and kind of help them through this process. Cause I can see how it's tough when you are reverse dieting for the first time, especially when you're somebody who's been in a cut trying to lose the, the mental game.